So you shared with us that you have a challenge yeah. that you cope with, yeah. um, but you've been able to channel it in a very productive and proactive way. Tell us a little bit about this. Well, I suffer from um, what's called an impulse control disorder or um, body-focused repetitive behavior, to be really technical and all. Um, so trichotillomania is compulsive hair pulling. Um, and I, in my case, I, I pull out my eyebrows and eyelashes and I bite my fingers and pick at the skin. I keep them really nicely manicured, to, which keeps it under control to some extent. Um, but what I think is interesting, I mean, it's caused me great suffering at, at certain points in my life because I felt ugly. I felt like a monster, I mean, in some ways, and I felt like everybody saw it. But, uh, and I tried every way to stop it. But what happened is basically over time I realized that people don't notice. Everybody has their thing and everybody's more concerned with what people are thinking of them than anything. Absolutely. That, um, everybody's got something. Everybody's got something. And there's an element in this behavior that is like a little perfectionistic and meticulous. It's trying to fix things and make them look right. There's a little bit of skin that's out of place. There's a little hair that's not right. So how interesting that I've taken up a, an art, a craft that involves teeny tiny stitches and fixing little tiny things and using this energy in my hands that won't stop moving. I would like to say that channeling that made me not do the behaviors anymore, but it doesn't, but it's okay. <laughs> it is okay. <laughs> and so courageous of you to share that. You well, know, that's something that you volunteered to share. It was something we could have not discussed in, in a public forum. So bravo to you. Because well, I want other people to know. I mean, we all have something. And I know that I suffered with it for a long time. And if anybody ever sees this and feels comforted that they can, you know. That it's okay. That it's okay. And they're okay. <laughs>